Hey, hey, hey there, folks. John Pesca bringing another audio commentary. And today we have a game between Lucifer, who obviously has just come back from the uh, army and has really gotten back to almost top form very, very quickly. And he's going to be playing against uh, Remind, who's actually playing Orc in this game. Interesting. Obviously, we are on Secret Valley, which is a pretty good map for Orc. Actually, it's a very good map for Orc, and it's a pretty bad map for Elithal, all things considered. So you can sort of understand why Remind would want to uh, be playing off race like this. And um, it looks like Lucifer is actually I'm amazed <laughs> that they're um, uh, talking in English. But yeah, it looks like uh, Lucifer is uh, playing Remind for the first time since coming back from the army. So uh, it would be interesting to see uh, how he wants to play this out. He is going for a fast fiend field by the looks of things. Uh, we'll be putting up a ziggurat in about five seconds time. And then uh, we'll have to see uh, how he wants to play it from here. Um, you know, Remind, obviously players who are off race are more likely to do uh, very um, or slightly different things. Obviously, uh, some of the best strategies have actually been uh, come up with by players who were playing off race. For example, I believe um, the mass destroyer against human strategy was actually advised by Grubby in the uh, Four Kings days, uh, where he was playing off race versus Fury and just decided to try it out. Uh, er, and uh, he, sorry, he told Fury uh, about this, and uh, he just uh, really got fantastic success with it. So uh, it's always interesting to see how players uh, decide to approach races where obviously uh, they think about the matchup. But they don't really get to enact um, their biggest uh, or their greatest uh, uh, plans just because they don't play that race enough. But remind probably actually the best random player in the world. Maybe uh, TH could take that title. But um, remind and TH both very very strong uh, with all four races. Actually, it's very surprising how good they are. And remind isn't going to be going for anything too crazy this game. Looks like he's just going to go for the uh, Blade Master grunt getting up that second burrow and then probably going to be doing some tacking. We know we do have a um, fairly centered opening. Oh no we don't, we have a Lich coming out here for Lucifer. Very interesting. Uh, people will undoubtedly, you'll undoubtedly remember uh, the games we've had. We've had a lot of Lich Tower Rich games on this map. Uh, for example we had a Grubby versus Ted game uh, which I casted. Uh, we had, if you um, watch the Replayers Cup with me, uh, when I live streamed that about a month ago, we had Lolliet do that and just absolutely destroy, I think it was Focus with it. It wasn't even close. So really, going Lich first on this map, very interesting. Obviously, it, 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 it's, uh, the Tower Rush is just so powerful. Uh, because also, if you do need to do some healing, there are these fountains available to you. You don't need the coil as desperately as you would on maps where you don't have that tier 1 healing. Uh, which is just so important to uh, orcs. You know, we do have a mind going for. Uh, he's actually taking a lot of damage on his blade master now. You do need to be careful about that. And he's picked up a potion of greater mana, which isn't going to be useful for him early game. But it looks like uh, Lucifer is actually going to be going for a bit of creeping now. Uh, of often you'll just send. Uh, you'll just go straight for the tower rush. But actually, it looks like maybe Lucifer isn't going to be going for tower rush at all. He hasn't sold his TV. He hasn't been built a sixth or, or seventh off an acolyte. And uh, yeah, it looks like he's just going to be going through a sort of a straight up uh, game with uh, going Lich first, which I guess, as I say, sort of works a bit more on maps with fountains, but you just need to be so, so careful about that Blade Master focusing down that Lich. Because hopefully the Blade Master is super quick, unless you have Frost Armor on yourself, that's really your only hope. And it looks like Lucifer has got Frost Armor, and yeah, he is teching, so not building that Sick Light, and uh, not buying a. Uh, and not. Um, oh no, he is actually buying a Sacrificial Skull now, but he hasn't built that Accolade, so. Um, I'm a bit confused here about Lucifer's strategy is, but certainly he is a truly great pl player. It'll be very interesting to see uh, what his plans actually are. You know, we do have level 2 now for Remind. Uh, Remind picking up a uh, Ring of Protection as well, which is certainly probably, yeah, he does sell it. And uh, he does pick up Boots of Speed as well, so he really will be able to uh, catch uh, Lucifer. And he, now for the first time, I think he is seeing this Lich uh, out first, and he probably is going to go for these Fiends, because the Fiends obviously not in a great... Um, don't have a great ability to heal because uh, you do need to put them by fountains where they do become fairly exposed to villages and nearby and it looks like though we do have some nice micro here by Lucifer actually putting uh, frost armor on both his fiends so they are going to be very very tricky for Remind to try and focus down I'll remind to actually get his blade master a bit ahead now does go it's going to want to get a block off with these grunts and looks like he might manage to get one kill there but we do now have level two and another dust being used a second judge of dust already being used and a nova goes off here on this blade master blade master now being very low on health and pretty slow as well but it looks like both of these fiends are very very low on health. Lucifer will need to get them to a healing fountain and it looks like this Blade Master with its Spruce of Speed will be able to run away and ooh Lucifer does need to be careful. I think he accidentally ac attacked the, the uh, cage there for a second uh, and so that did slow him down but he might be able to get onto the Blight but uh, still it will be uh, important to see if he can actually save them 
after he gets in there, our Nerugian tower is building, which will slow down any units moving in, but a Blade Master could pop out. We even have these grunts, or these um, ghouls being pulled to the front so that they can just get in the way, and you can see these fiends are being put in a position where if grunts want to come in to kill them, they're going to have to basically be sacrificing the Blade Master. is going to be in a bad position as well uh, if he wants to come in, and also bear in mind the Blade Master, pretty low on mana. Actually, he does have the greater, um, or potion of greater mana, which he could use if he wanted to get a couple fiend kills. Looks like he is going to move in here. Bear in mind, only level 1 wind, uh, wind walk, so it is going to take him a while to get in, and he will probably be able to get at least one kill here, maybe two. Uh, these frost armors, neither about to cool down, actually, or neither about to um, end, but one grunt comes in here, actually takes the attack off the Nerubian Tower, very nice play there, by your mind, it means that the Blade Master is slowed for slightly less time, and luckily both feeds will go down, fantastic start here for Remind, who now is going to be able to get out with having taken very, very few losses, and uh, this Lich now still only barely level two, going to be able to come in, but still, this Blade Master doing so much damage, almost level three on the Blade Master now, and the uh, Queen will probably be a uh, frost armor as soon as possible, but all these grunts being slowed, looks like a dust actually goes off to catch this Blade Master. I'm not sure that was the best choice in the world there by Lucifer, because he's never going to be able to kill that, but it will stop him from getting a creep jacks in the immediate future. And uh, meanwhile, what do we have from tech? We have, ooh, look at this, going for the Shadow Hunter second, which isn't that uncommon, and also going for that tier 3 with a Beast Jerry, and uh, probably some raiders as well being thrown in eventually once he has the money, but obviously uh, focusing on like, getting that quick tier 3 uh, can be pretty useful, because it that can mean that you can get the uh, orb, which is actually going to be very, very useful if you think about it against the Lich, because the uh, Lich, obviously, you don't want it slowed for one thing, but also it will dispel that frost armor, which is going to be so useful as well. And we do now have a mind going to be uh, taking out these uh, all but the um, red drake by the looks of things. And uh, we do have a slight engagement here between the, uh, the Lich and the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter being forced to uh, stay away, but will eventually want to be uh, getting uh, near here because the Blade Master is now level 3, really want to focus all the creeping now on the Shadow Hunter, and uh, that's certainly going to be Ryan's job from, for the next little while. Ryan now putting up a war mill as well and getting in snare. In snare, but it looks like he doesn't have any raiders actually, I don't think uh, Lucifer killed the first one, so I'm not sure uh, what his uh, thinking is there. Maybe he was just um, supply capped or something for a second, so didn't want to uh, be building one, or couldn't be building one immediately, so he may thought he'd spend his time better, and we do now have a uh, tier 3 almost, or about halfway done here for Lucifer, uh, who is getting out of Death Knight second, it is important to get that, ooh, actually uses a dust there, and doesn't hit the Blade Master unfortunately for him, so he won't be able to cancel that clarity, but it looks like we do have Lucifer now, getting a fair bit of lumber, has got 4 ghouls, so he will be able to, uh, to do a fair bit of harvesting there, but in the meantime, he's really going to be experienced capped. He's only level 2 and, and is unable to move out. And meanwhile, the slaughterhouse now being attacked a bit. Uh, tier 3 almost done for Lucifer, so he will be able to buy an orb suit for his Lich. But that Lich still very, very weak. And bear in mind, the uh, Death Knight that just popped out is only level 1. So really, really, this is uh, not a great situation for uh, Luc Lucifer. While well, Remind is free to go do some creeping with just his Shadow Hunter. Going to get level 2 off this cap and uh, pick up a pretty nifty item as well. Uh, hopefully for him, like a great... Uh, well, actually, no, Potion of Greater Healing, that's an alright item, obviously the, uh, um, the nukes are actually pretty, uh, pretty weak here from uh, Lucifer at the moment, because he only has a level 2 uh, Lich and a level 1 Death Knight, but they will get a bit stronger soon, especially once he gets that orb up, and a Sacrificial Pit now being built for Lucifer as well, uh, maybe he's going to build a Boneyard, that would be an uh, interesting choice, uh, Boneyard obviously can be good with uh, fairly weak heroes, because they really can um, give you a good buff, actually he's building an Acolyte now, uh, did he, he didn't lose an Acolyte, so maybe he's, you know, he's just going to be getting for that Shade, I guess. Uh, but getting that very early Shade when you're in a bad position like this is interesting. Obviously it means that he doesn't want to be creep jack, but at the same time it's just not going to help him get any, uh, get back really into this game after losing those two fiends super early and having used a lot of Dust Chargers as well, uh, as, well as well as not having got a huge amount of experience. Well, meanwhile we have 3-2, soon to be 3-3 uh, three, three if he goes and creeps out uh, this dragon afterwards. I think he will be able to get level 3 and uh, that will be very, very nice here for him. Meanwhile, Luke's, our reminder just being very, very good at keeping tabs on Lucifer, seeing what's going on. Uh, one shade now being produced, and that's going to at least uh, keep the creep jacking to a minimum. But uh, bear in mind, if the entire army of Remind runs in, there's not going to be too much Lucifer can do. He will have to run or TP out of that, and it will even be tricky to run out of that because there is an orb now on that Blade Master, and there's no uh, aura on the Death Knight. So, really tricky to get out of uh, tight spots quickly for uh, Lucifer at this point. But uh, Remind now moving around, just trying to find out. Uh, what's going on? Maybe actually to go creep out this dragon with just his Blade Master. That'd be a nice choice there. 
uh, if you could at least weaken it and then wait for the uh, Shadow Hunter to get it back in. But a pendant of energy being picked up from that Shadow Hunter, huge item there for him. Obviously, mana so so critical for the Shadow Hunter. Uh, just getting those healings in can be so important. And actually, Hex is not that important here, just because the uh, Death Knight's a pretty low level. The his coils aren't too influential at this point in the game. Might be more important later on though. And we know we have some nice items being picked up on the Spade Master Scroll of Healing and uh, Invuln Pot. And I wonder if we don't have any items being picked up here on the Shadow Hunter, but still a good attack could come here. Actually, the Slaughterhouse could be in a bit of uh, da in a bit of danger. Sacrificial Pit is uh, making another uh, shade, and looks like we could have this Boneyard uh, uh, producing a Frost Room eventually. But those things take a huge amount of time to build. And uh, looks like we do have Lucifer moving back finally 2-2 two -two on his heroes. And actually having plus 20 damage on his Lich between all his items, that's pretty nice. But uh, still, it's going to be pretty tricky for him to actually do any significant damage. We do have an Azir going off on the statue. Obviously, taking it down early is uh, pretty important, because otherwise that thing does a huge amount of healing throughout the course of the battle. Nice Burrow Micro here by Lucifer. Actually, does manage to take down one Raider, but a Code of Beast comes in, immediately eats a full health feed, and this is so nice here for Lucifer. He does need to be, or for um, Ryan, he does need to be uh, very, very careful with his heroes. But apart from that, it looks like we do have this uh, Death Knight now being ensnared as well, and he tries to get Sokol off on this Raider, but the Death Knight does go down, and it looks like we will be having uh, Lucifer being forced to move back further into the back of his base. Uh, looks like we do finally have a frost room in production now for him, but uh, this uh, is a very sizable army here for Remind, compared to only one uh, one hero, the Lich, and the fr one Fiend, uh, with no upgrades as well, and uh, no upgrades obviously for Remind either, but nice Burrow here actually here, oh it is dusted though, very very nice there by Remind, and uh, even using healing waves to keep his Blade Master in this battle for a bit longer, Blade Master actually being forced to use an Invuln Pot at this point, he needs to be a bit more careful with his pathing, this one Fiend looks like he's a bit isolated, can't obviously run back in here, so he will be forced to uh, just waste as much of time of uh, reminds as possible while, uh, Luc while uh, Lucifer waits for his Death Knight to come back uh, in some sort of vain hope to come back into this battle. But at this point, ooh, this uh, Lich getting caught out now as well. Oh, but the Nova goes off. Very nice play there. Takes down the Blade Master. And is Lucifer going to be able to stick in this game because of that Blade Master kill? Maybe. It looks like this one um, Raider will go down as well. Yes, it does. And maybe Lucifer is going to be able to stick in this game, but still such a huge army for Remind. And we do have this, uh, the Skeletons now doing some damage to the Shadow Hunter, but really. Oh, actually uses a Mantum Potion as well, so he can get another Nova off on that Shadow Hunter, and it looks like, oh, the Shadow Hunter goes down as well, and maybe, oh, maybe uh, Lucifer can actually win this game now, not just stay in it for a bit longer, but oh, getting two hero kills it, with just the Lich is so impressive, and now the Death Knight's back as well, gets a clutch coil off on this Lich, and the Frost Room is going to be able to clear up a bunch of Raiders as well, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get two kills off here, and uh, gets one kill, and uh, might even get the Grunt, because obviously, uh, the uh, area effect, no nice split there, never mind. Uh, making sure that the uh, liches or that the uh Frost Room's attack doesn't hit both units. It looks like we do have the uh, Blade Master coming back in now. Uh, will it be able to do anything in time? D uses his healing scroll a second too late. Very unfortunate there for Remind. Would have been very nice if he could uh, have, kept, have kept that Raider alive just for the ensnare possibility. And we do have uh, this Lich getting very low, being forced to TP out at 19 hit points. And one very low grunt will be focused down. A bit of a weight of so the Frost Room's attack there, but does manage to take it down. Could have actually focused it down with something else and, and uh, used the Frost Room to hit something like a grunt because the Frost Room does like 200. 30 damage or something to a grunt. It's absolutely insane how much damage it does. And another Frost Room being made. I like this army composition here for Lucifer. Being forced to make more shades though, because obviously we do have some dust being used here by Remind just to take down those Burrows Fiends. And as a consequence, all the shades get caught out as well. And a Remind now going to be able to creep out this uh, Red Dragon as well. Going to get his level 4 and uh, going to get a pretty nifty item as well. And looks like we do have a sort of a shop being built in the middle of the map, which is a nice choice. It's one of those things where uh, you don't see many actual um, actual full-time orcs do that, but it's one of those small things where you always think when you're playing against it, this is so strong, and so you think whatever, when I'm playing orc, I'm gonna try and uh, try this sort of thing, and either it works or it doesn't. Ooh, Tove experience, very nice there for Lucifer, getting that level 3 very quickly, uh, gonna get level 4 in Sledge as well, they're getting a crystal ball now, and uh, probably will use that immediately, although crystal ball is such a terrible item. Uh, I wonder uh, where he revealed there actually, um, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's uh, it's not the best item. He will probably want to sell that eventually. And oh, narrowly avoids being creep jacked here. But it looks like the shade comes in just in time. Blade Master is chased away though. Uh, this rune bracer is though going to be so so important. Look how much uh, magic damage there is uh, from a uh, Lucifer's army. Going to be so important now. And I think that maybe that's going to make it impossible for uh, Lucifer to win this battle, uh, win this game rather. And uh, we do have some of these skeletons being taken taken out now. Uh, we don't yet have the Shadow Hunter back by the looks of things. No, Shadow Hunter will be back soon. Soon, though, but this level 4.
four blade master is going to be very tricky to take out. Especially, it's just so durable at this point with almost eight armors on top of the inbound pot and the uh, boots of speed and everything. Just so so um, scary there. Uh, and it looks like we do have all these berserkers being built as well as bat riders actually. I'm not sure I like the bat rider choice too much, just because bat riders they're good against frost storms if you can uh, hold them in place. But uh, the problem is that we do have sort of a TP, things like that, and coils and frost armor and everything. So you can get a, you can uh, really preserve these uh, frost rooms for a lot longer. And unless you actually get the kill with bat riders, uh, it's uh, pretty tricky to actually uh, to use them effectively. A uh, dust is used there just to kill off one shade, and I'm sure uh, Lucifer will be um, will rebuild it. He already has one with his army, and it probably will eventually rebuild one once he gets the what gets enough money to do so. And uh, Lucifer now actually moving home. He does have a three worms with him, and that's a huge amount of focusing power. The uh, Blade Master being caught a bit out there, but does manage to get away, and uh, we do have, looks like we're probably going to be uh, trying to pick a fight sooner rather than later, or trying to expand. Really one of the two. Lucifer has a shade here, going to watch for that creeping, because obviously in Creepjack there is very, very huge, and just being used as well, but uh, still, uh, but actually that time there was no shade nearby. Lucifer now 4-3 on his heroes. Bear in mind that it's a Lich at level 4, uh, which is not as useful probably as having the Blade Master level 4. And looks like we do have one Batrider coming in. Unfortunately, not a great split, but the Frost Armor is so useful. Uh, so we're going to get 6 armor because that is level 2 um, uh, Frost Armor. And we do have the uh, bl the uh, Frost Room South finally taking a lot of focus. Blade Master taking some focus from the Frost Room South is not a good choice because it's so durable, as I say. One of the um, Frost Rooms is called there, and it looks like we do have the uh, Blade Master now being able to dispel the uh, the frost armor from these frost rooms, and that's just so so useful. Another coal being used to keep these alive. Very nice micro here by Lucifer Banshee to keep everything in this battle. And so many skeletons being produced for Lucifer, being able to chase away some of these uh, some of uh, the Shadow Hunter now, as well as a bunch of the units. Very very nice micro here by Lucifer, being able to keep pretty much all his units alive. Maybe gonna finally lose this one frost room, but still has done a fantastic job of keeping it alive and get maximizing its damage output. And uh, looks like we do have all these skeletons actually causing a fair bit of trouble now for uh, for. For remind, but it looks like we do have a call now going off on the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter is focused down, and now the Blade Master does need to be very careful because there is no healing. Does have an involved pot though. TP being forced to be used by uh, Lucifer there, uh, who will hopefully be able to pick off a couple more use before TP's out. Yes, he does get that grunt at the last second. Very, very nice by there him by him managing to take down that Shadow Hunter and get out. But uh, still, we do need to uh, remind does still have this level four Blade Master. We'll probably try and creep it up to level five, and then. Um, Actually, it looks like uh, Tavern back is Shadow Hunter, and so uh, I think it'd be nice if he tried to creep out this camp at this point. Played it a bit slower because really, he now that he's now that he's at tier three, he can save up for a bit, buy a tiny great hall, expand. These mines only have about four minutes of gold left in them, so really, it's uh, pretty important for uh, to have a bit of a longer game plan because Lucifer is going to run out of gold soon and is going to be forced to go for one desperate attack, and then uh, all it comes down to is holding that off, and that's really just become so standard, just because you can. Uh, the end that often do just uh, do that nowadays, where they just sell off the most of their buildings and then buy a couple more items and then move in for the attack. But, you know, we do actually have remind building one peon here. I wonder if that was um, planning on building a tower here or something, just because uh, towers it were in conjunction with the reinforced defenses, which we do see from remind, are actually very very effective against frost storms and uh, really everything uh, that uh, Lucifer has in his army. We don't. I'm, I'm amazed that Lucifer's actually managed to get away with doing this creeping. Ooh, look at that. Uh, Candor's Fight with Insight. Very, very nice item there. Could give him a whole bunch more mana, which is so important on these heroes. Uh, and looks like the Playmaster unable to get a Creepjack off just because there's a, the whole remind of, our army of remind is so far back. Looks like we have a bit more shopping going on here. Selling uh, his uh, armor item and uh, we'll be picking up, a, uh, actually using Clarities now. So not going to be looking for a fight in the near future, but but very, very nice items here for uh, Lucifer. Maybe going to be able to do something with that. Meanwhile, the Slitch does hit level 5. And we do have the... Oh, this is a bad choice here by Remind. Remind tries to get the kill there on that Frost Room. It does survive. And uh, two Bat Riders, I believe, were wasted on that. That's what I was talking about earlier about Bat Riders. Really, unless you can get the kill guaranteed, they're not the best bet. Which is why, for example, you don't really want to use them late game against a human who's going for a 100 food heavy air army. Just because uh, they can uh, really become so durable. And uh, it'd be interesting to see actually if Lucifer, uh, he has so many plus armor items, if uh, we do continue to see Bat Riders, which it looks like we are, if uh, we do see a scroll of protection being bought by uh, Lucifer, I think that could be a good choice, because it just does give a whole bunch of extra durability to these uh, Frost Rooms. Do you actually have one armor upgrade, as well as presumably um, plus five armor from the, yeah, for plus five armor from the 
uh, frost armor, and then uh, the obviously going for level three Nova on that lich, which is a good choice. It looks like we don't have a TP anymore, but we, for uh, Luther, but we do actually have a sacrificial skull being bought yet again. Um, I'm not quite sure where he's planning on using that, but we'll see. Uh, he has used it so he has used two so far just for creeping. The spike master being very caught out does need to, be, need to be careful. Unfortunately, no stunning here for Lucifer, so we can't do too much more. And it looks like we do have ooh, a couple peons actually being caught here, uh, trying to harvest lumber a bit careless there by them, and we do have a tower going up now for Remind, as I was saying, those towers are very, very useful uh, in this sort of situation, and then all we need to see is a tiny great hole being built by Remind, and that just puts uh, Lucifer in such a bad position where he really has to, he's put in a position where he needs to attack as soon as possible, and oh wow, Pitlord being picked up here for Lucifer, this is interesting, because actually and yeah, dropping his uh, Sacrificial Skull as well, but the Pitlord being used is so interesting, the Pitlord, probably the least used um, hero in the game, it's doesn't really have a specific use where all the other heroes at least have one situation in which it's the go-to hero with Pitlord. We've actually seen it, the only player I've seen use it recently is that Remind. Obviously Moon was once using them to great effect but sort of eventually gave up just because his results were sort of better when he didn't use it and it required a lot less um, skill I, I always tend to, felt, tend to feel but uh, Remind has actually surprised me with him using it before. Uh, we've seen him use it against human recently, where he'll get it as a second hero against casters, and I've also seen him use it against orc as a third hero, where it's just a huge tank, and then you just uh, use it to reduce the damage on the blade master as well. So uh, there's interest, it's, I'm really surprised about its choice though, uh, I presume he's not, he's, uh, not going to be going for rain of fire, because it's just too uh, too easy to dodge. Look at all these up that right so they get Nova though. Remind does need to be very, very careful about them. If obviously coils can take them out very quickly now. One coil does go off to take them off. Speed goal being used as well. These battle riders, oh nice but there by Lucifer, keeping uh, his other frost rooms alive, but uh, one of them has been hexed, which is gonna be so frustrating here for uh, Lucifer because that's a huge amount of his DPS just gone. And uh, we do now have this uh pit lord actually taking a huge amount of damage, but being very, very uh, nicely uh, kept alive. This uh coil going off to keep the frost room alive as well, and uh, the purge just being so annoying on these frost rooms, very, very nice play here by Remind, who's really managing to do a huge amount of damage now, and we do have a call going off, looks like actually expansion going up here as well for Remind, uh, I'll show you that in a second, and uh, finally that uh, Frost Room does go down, but really wasting a lot of Remind's time trying to get that down, and it uh, looks like this Blade Master taking a huge amount of damage, but eventually uh, Lucifer just going to decide to try and take down the other units, a call going off, and actually this, um, uh, this, um, Pit Lord now hitting level 2 and actually getting Cleaving Attack, which is probably a good choice, because as I say, Rain of Fire is not the best of, uh, of, um, uh, abilities, and that we do this expansion probably from a tiny great hall. I wasn't paying a entire attention, but I think that it wouldn't have had enough time just to have been built since I last checked. And it uh, looks like we do have the Shadow Hunter now going to move down and do some shopping. Blade Master now as well. Mega by healing. Scroll actually an Invuln Pot is much more important at this point. He has very few units, but keeping his heroes alive is so important. I, I'm almost certain that's what he's going to buy. Uh, yes, he does buy an Invuln Pot finally. And it looks like we do have a bit of pressure being put on here by Lucifer. No um, peons in these uh, burrows because uh, they all have been moved to the expansion. And uh, now Lucifer must realize that he's, he's on a very severe clock. Looks like this Blade Master runs into do a couple bit of last second shopping. Battle Riders fly in, try and take down some of these um, frost rooms, but it looks like m they are still at uh, decent health, and uh, the Lich had to get a lot of folks is frost armored, and that just gives him a huge amount of extra armor, but Critical Strike goes off as well as the Purge on the Lightning Arm, and now the Lich is very slow on top of unarmored, does need to be very, very careful, but it looks like it does manage to micro away. Obviously, all the extra mana from the Pipe of Insight is so useful. Raider, get Raider, yes, he does get focused down at the last second. Now there's Pit Lord in a lot of trouble as well, does need to run away, but he is, oh, nice wind walk there by Blade Master, by the Blade Master, does manage to take him out, and now it's only a couple heroes left here for Lucifer, as well as that one shade, but a call goes off to actually keep this frost room alive. I didn't actually see that for a second, because it has been Hex. Hex is so annoying here. It's been used very nicely by Remind, but uh, really, the problem with it uh, for uh, Lucifer is that he has no way of dispelling it without destroyers, which obviously is a tech he hasn't uh, gone for, and uh, look at, we can see what I was talking about earlier, selling off a bunch of um, uh, buildings. Uh, he's at 42 out of 40 uh, su supplies, so he may as well sell his other ziggurats, really, at this point, as well as his graveyard, Sacrificial pit actually doesn't cost a lot, and it costs a lot of lumber, but not a lot of gold. It's not really worth selling that, and keeping the altar, it's debatable, probably not. Uh, but actually, I guess he may as well if you have the gold, depends on uh, what he really needs. And uh, he should probably turn all these, a or at least one of the acolytes into, no he isn't, he's selling the uh, sacrificial pit, so he wants to use the acolytes in the battle. This is very interesting here by Lucifer, he's building a one extra... Um, Frostmore. Obviously, he can't wait too long because otherwise, there's just too much mining here for Remind. So he's down to 10 gold, and uh, actually, he's not selling these other um, 
ziggurats. I'm a bit surprised by that. I, uh, obviously, it's uh, against in a base race situation. You want to have as many buildings as possible, but at the same time, having an extra 150 gold uh, could let you buy like a like some item at least, maybe in bone pot, something like that, uh, or you could sell something. Uh, some of his permanent items, which are obviously going to actually have very little long-term effect. Now, like the Pipe of Insight, actually, uh, that's, it's been so good for him, but really, at this point, if he doesn't win the battle in the next couple minutes, he's going to lose it all together. So he does, he, things like the Pipe of Insight, really not worth too much at this point, because it's just such a good long-term item, and a actually nice Nova takes down that uh, one Berserker, and these Acolytes now being brought in just to get in the way, obviously not making them into shades, so he's actually going to keep them in the battle, which it's not overly useful, but it's alright, he's bringing his ghouls, these skeletons will time out in a second actually, this could be pretty bad for Lucifer if he doesn't manage to take a fight soon, this one frost from being hexed and now being caught out by the playmaster, does he, Lucifer will need to coil it just to keep it alive, and it takes, took a lot of damage there, Nova goes off to take down this one raider, and Cole goes off as well, very very nice, and now this berserker will go down as well, Hex goes off actually to keep it alive for another second, but it's a bit... Uh, too little, and it looks like we do have this one of Hex Frost Room could be out of the battle just forever, basically, because Lucifer does need to do something quick, and it looks like he might be maybe able to make something happen, but it's very, very close now at this point, and it looks like Lucifer is going to take a bit of damage on this Frost Room, but uh, going to be able to chase away this Blade Master, who does still have this involved pot, which is going to be very, very useful in this sort of situation where the Blade Master is so critical, uh, almost level 5 on the Shadow Hunter as well, and uh, Lucifer has tried to base race, uh, I guess that's a good decision, but uh, it seems like it'd be more of thought, even if you have to take the extra damage from the watchtower, to actually take down the mine base at this point, uh, just because items can still be bought by a mine, that's one way he could use his gold. Uh, but these fat riders actually do need to be careful, will they be caught out? No! Uh, he isn't caught out, does get immediately get a cold though, to keep this frost room alive, very important to continue doing that. And now the Blaymaster coming in, Ryan does need to be very, very careful with his heroes, because if he loses them, he could be unable to take them out, and it looks like one of these berserkers is going to be taken out as well. Very, very nice yeah, unit focus here by Lucifer, and other uh, this uh, sh uh, Shadow Hunter now going to be uh, on the run, actually forced using Healing Potion, but now the Death Knight getting very, very low is passing in from Pot. Will he use it? Yes, he does use it in time. And now it looks like we do have this Shadow Hunter going to be taking a lot of focus down, and he does go down. Uh, he uses a Healing but at the last second, it's slightly too late, and now this playmaster going to go down as well, and I think Lucifer should be able to take this game. This Oh my god, being so, so bold with this Death Knight, though. Looks like a healing potion is used from mine, trying to get that Death Knight kill, thinking that might be able to keep him in the game. One by rider coming in, going to be able to do a bit of damage here to one of these frost rooms, but it's not enough. This Death Knight will be able to, actually, look at that, he's even being passed circle it, just so he can uh, have a bit more health, because the playmaster now comes in, but the shade here catches the playmaster, and GG from Remind. Lucifer takes this game, fantastic play there by him. Really, really nice there. I'm very, very impressed with how Lucifer managed to play that with just so few units. Going for that Lich first as well, bear in mind. Very impressive. So I hope you all enjoyed that game. I certainly did. Very exciting to see such a close game. Really couldn't tell the winner till the last second, but eventually just uh, Lucifer's final attack did manage to, manage to carry it for him. And I'll bring you some more games very soon, folks. Thanks.